welcome to my channel today i'm going to do your september love reading please remember this is a general reading uh, timing is fluid and flexible um, all the information you need to know is in the description box if you'd like a personal reading um, my video playlist link is there as well and the last thing that i have for you is i am doing a giveaway at the end of every month to enter you just need to subscribe like and comment and I do do a winner's video uh, the first week of every month, so be sure to turn on your uh, bell, your notification bell, uh, so you know um, when my upcoming videos are, which includes the winner videos. Uh, so let's get started. Good luck, Aquarius, if you want to enter. And let's get started with your love reading. We're going to pull one card here from the Romance Angels. What does Aquarius need to know in love? All right. So the card that you got is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, right? So, you know, whether this person is in your life or not, I feel for most of you, this is going to be somebody that's already in your life here. So I feel here you're already feeling a connection to someone or you may have known this person for some time. We're going to pull um, some tarot here. We're going to do... Uh, three cards for the overall energy, two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, and then uh, we'll do some clarification on those cards here. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius for September love? What is the overall energy here for Aquarius? Let's get two more cards, please. Let's get two more cards, and let's get one more card. All right, so we have here the Page of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. All right, let's get two cards uh, for your energy. We already have here um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius on the board. We have your energy here, Aquarius, and Libra, and Gemini. And we also have Earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So let's get two cards for Aquarius's energy here, please. Let's get two cards. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Cups. Let's get your person's energy. We have the Magician. And we have here the Knight of Swords. All right. Give me just a moment here. Okay. I'm getting here, Aquarius. I feel like there's somebody here, whether it was somebody new that you just met or, um, you know, or something that didn't last very long. Um, I feel here there may have been, and it may be somebody that you've known for quite some time, but I feel here there was something that happened. I feel like there was a misunderstanding, um, <coughs> um, you know, or a miscommunication about something between you and your person. And I feel like it created some conflict between you and this person. This can also be um, with the Five of Swords here. Sometimes I see this as there could have been another person involved in the situation um, that could have added conflict. Uh, this can be a situation where you felt this was, you know, this connection or relationship for those of you who may have been in it for a while. Um, you know, this can be a situation where you've had repeated, um, you know, misunderstandings or arguments here, okay? But whatever this is for you, I do feel here this can be a, a younger energy that you're dealing with, all right? Could be dealing with an Aries or Sag, I think I always said that, and then this is your energy here, Aquarius. Um, but I feel like there was, you know, overall there was some misunderstanding or miscommunication in the situation you have here the king of pentacles now this can be a situation about commitment somebody wanting um, a long-term commitment here something stable here um, i'm also getting here um, i'm almost feeling like somebody um, was standing firm on their position as well 
um, about the situation, okay? Um, but I feel like really this um, had to do with gaining more stability in the situation can be even an issue of finances, okay? Somebody here may have chosen, your person may have chosen to, um, you know, work on their finances here. So let's go to your energy. We have uh, Queen of Wands and Nine of Cups here. I feel here you're wanting them to take some action. I feel here you're wanting them to make a romantic gesture or express how they feel um, in some way here, okay? I'm getting here too, you know, uh, some of you may be single, you may be in separation from this person at this time. And um, I feel here you're just really wanting, um, you know, something emotional from them, something where they are going to make some gesture here, okay? Almost like, you know, a makeup here to know that, you know, everything is okay between the two of you. We have here the Magician and the Knight of Swords, all right? I feel here your person here knows that they need to take some sort of action. They need to... Uh, I'm hearing communicate better because like I said, I feel like there's some um, miscommunication and it may have ended up in a miss opportunity is what I'm getting as well. So I feel here your person here is coming in with some communication. They're going to take some action here. Uh, I feel here too, this person could even come in very well with, a, with an offer of committed, commitment as well. Uh, could this is your energy here Aquarius you could be dealing with another Aquarius Libra or Gemini all right so it may have taken your person some time to gain some balance in this situation after what happened so they may have focused their energy on themselves and their finances um, but now it's like they're rushing in here they're rushing in with this communication all right so let's uh, get some clarity on these cards, see what comes out. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the uh, page of wands here, please? Why is the page of wands here? Okay, so you have the nine of wands. Oh, you've got the page of wands twice here. Check that out. All right, page of wands and nine of wands, okay? So again, fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, all right? So whatever happened in your situation here, um, I feel like your person is feeling pretty bad about it, okay? I feel like they're feeling pretty bad about it. You know, I've, I'm also getting... If this was a misunderstanding or a miscommunication, I feel here that it's it's it wasn't intentional. That's the energy that I'm getting here. It was not intentional. Um, you know, they may you know just when it comes to love, they I'm getting here. They may not know the right things to say. So if the, your person did say something um, that hurt you or you know may have caused some conflict between the two of you. I, I kind of just feel like they didn't know what they were saying or they didn't know what they were doing, okay? Um, let's go here with the uh, Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Let's get two cards. All right. Looks like we have three. This one wanted to come out, too. All right. So we have the World card, we have the Temperance card, and we have the Six of Swords. All right. So I'm getting here with whatever happened between you and this person, I feel like that cycle is closing out, okay? I feel like it's in the past. I feel now there's gonna be much more balance in the situation. Um, I feel here, you know, since then, you and this person have really had time to think about things. And I feel here, you know, you both have gotten in a place where you um, are feeling much calmer about the situation, all right? So I do feel here that, that whatever that was or whatever happened, um, I feel like that cycle is closing out and now things are gonna move to a much calmer place. And that's if you choose to. Some of you may choose here 
to move on, okay, from this person. That's a card too, can be moving on, okay? I'm getting here too, this can be, um, you know, the conflict could have also been, um, I feel here about uh, the distance between you and your person. You two could be at a distance here, okay? A long distance is what I'm seeing as well. Can also be a disagreement I'm getting here too about uh, possibly where to live if the two of you are planning to move in together. I'm also getting that energy here as well. Let's go here. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? Okay, we have the Victory card, the Six of Wands, and we have, look at that, we have the Knight of Cups, okay? Look at, I said here I felt you wanted this person to express how they feel or make some offer or gesture here. And look, they're saying here, this person is coming in with an offer. Okay, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups energy here. There's victory and definitely this person is coming in with some uh, romantic or offer of commitment here is what I'm getting here. Okay, if this is a newer connection for you, can just be somebody, you know, wanting to see you, go out on a date, um, that kind of energy there. We have fire energy and water energy there. Okay, let's get one card to clarify uh, your energy here, Queen of Wands and Knight of Cups. Okay, let's get one more card. Uh, you're indecisive here, Aquarius, for some reason. All right, so even though this person is coming in, look at this, uh, Two of Swords and the Four of Cups. <laughs> you might be stubborn about this situation or you may uh, even hold back from this person, okay? I feel here you may not, um, you may not accept their offer is what I'm getting here. As I said, some of you may be closing out this cycle and decide to move on. Let's see what, uh, let's clarify your person's energy here. We have the Magician and the Knight of Swords. Oh, we have the Devil card. Okay, well, there, that could be a Capricorn. And we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so this person's coming in. I feel here they're going to kind of um, test the waters here with this Page of Cups. They may be coming in with an apology. Um, but I feel here they're going to come in kind of, kind of light. They may, I feel here with this double card, they may even be a little sneaky about it. Um, just trying to, you know, avoid any conversations about the past. I feel here they're, they're just trying to come in. I feel here they're trying to come in like nothing ever happened. That's that kind of energy that I'm getting there. Okay. Could be dealing with the Capricorn as well. So let's get here the possible outcome of the situation. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what's the possible outcome here for Aquarius? Let's get three cards here, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far, Aquarius. Let's get one more card. Okay, I said that, and there we go. We have the uh, Ten of Wands. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, and we have the Ten of Wands, okay? So Aquarius, I feel here there's a strong connection here. This could even be um, a Twin Flame connection here. I feel here... Um, I feel here there's going to be some struggle, okay, but it's almost over. This is the struggle's almost over here. A cycle is coming to completion, as we already saw here. I'm just going to pull um, another card or two here on this Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here, please? Why is the Ten of Wands here, please? Ooh, the Tower. Let's get one more card. Why is the Tower here? Wheel of Fortune, okay. Wheel of Fortune. I don't read reversals, okay. Um, and then why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? Okay, we have, oh my gosh, look at these cards. Wow, you have one, two, three major arcana cards right here. There is a big shift happening here, okay? 
I feel here uh, for some of you, you're not going to accept this person's offer is what I'm getting here. Okay, let's start here. So we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Tower card and then we have here the Wheel of Fortune. I feel here for some of you, I feel like you're closing out this cycle with this person. For some of you, you may be dealing with this person for quite some time and you know, I felt here too in the beginning that there could be, you know, a history here of, uh, you know, disagreements or, you know, not be, being on the same page, whatever it was, or, you know, communication may not be good. Um, but I feel here, Aquarius, for some of you, you may be closing out this cycle and moving on here. Uh, but the good thing with that is the Wheel of Fortune is telling you here there are blessings coming um, for you through this situation. Some of you who are in a twin flame relationship may just be, you know, done with this and wanting your new soulmate to come in is what I'm getting. For others, um, you know, and I'm just going to say here, you have the Ace of Swords here. Um, some of you may be deciding to cut this person out of your life because they maybe have not been truthful or you, they've never given you enough clarity here in the situation. All right. Um, and then we have the magician. So that tells me here that you're taking action here. You're manifesting what you want in your life. So this is going to be for the people who are moving on. Okay. Now, for those of you who are not moving on here, I feel here, this is an indication that the struggle is going to be over between you and this person. All right. Um, and you are manifesting, you know, truth, clarity in the situation. So I, I did say here, I do feel here this person may, when they come back, I feel here almost like they want to sweep what happened in the past under the rug, whatever it is for you. Um, but they are coming in here with some clarity, okay? They are coming in with some communication. So some of you may be wanting to work things out with this person. Um, so, you know, this may have just been a karmic cycle that you went through. Um, to get to this new beginning with this person, this Ace of um, Swords beginning here, okay? So take it how it resonates with you. And that's what I'm seeing, two different scenarios. Some of you will be starting over and some of you um, are just completing a cycle with this person um, so that the two of you can have a fresh start is what I'm getting, okay? So let's pull a couple Lover Oracle cards. Oh, there's one, thank you, angels. For your guidance let's get one more card here for aquarius there it is yes that's what i i saw here the first card that you have is surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out so aquarius i exactly feel that energy from you I feel you are surrendering right now to this situation. Some of you are holding back. Some of you are moving on, letting go and, and just moving on from this situation. And some of you are letting go and, and letting go of repeating cycles with this person. Okay, starting a new beginning, having a fresh start with this person. For, and then you have here, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So there is a new beginning here, okay? Whether you're staying or you're going, uh, right on with the energy here. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you gained some clarity from this reading. Um, again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.